So here we have a Luanto Holku or a nature trail. Over there are some bird boxes. And then this is a swamp area. And uh, migrating birds usually come here, so I'm going to have a walk along and uh, see what we can find. It's supposed to be about two kilometers the walkway, but it's only beginning here. See it goes over through into the forest. And here's a notice board. What you might find. Some heron or cranes. Flying squirrels, Litava orova. Curlews. Lots of different ones. This is a, a map of the place. So we're here, all at Tassa. And it goes across the swamp area. So we should be going into it soon. And hopefully we might see some birds, although I'm not sure. So let's have a look and see. So we made all these pathways put them together with dowels so that they're held in place big dowels, oh my god so they don't slip I don't know what type of wood it is but it seems to be going on for some distance right through the forest there these big boards fascinating place just happened upon it by accident. But it, uh, see how far it goes. Sun coming through the trees. I don't have to put this off. Interesting. So here you can give an idea of what the, the marsh or the swamp or the bog looks like. I can hear sort of different birds that are calling. Looks like there's another notice board. It's telling about that somebody made a high back chair sitting down. And there you can see that these are the types of berries that you get. Uh, there is luck or cloudberry, and uh, that one there is uh, Isocarpalo. It's something, uh, oh, I don't know. And then that one's Puria Leti Hockey. No idea what that is. Is that edible berry or not? But certainly, that's really expensive, that cloudberry or lacca. Most of the trees in here are really sort of stunted. Perhaps it's not very good for getting some nutrients. But they're just all sort of Winksy wonksy. There's another one. This looks like some 
Bonsai. The Japanese would love that. And here we have another chair. <laughs> it's a good design. And then here, they're talking about rakas and mel different types of mosses that you see in the swamp. So, I would read this to you, but it's quite interesting. So let's do a sweep around. There was a couple of hawks just circling a little while ago, but I did have my camera on so I couldn't get them. So that's looking backwards to where I parked the car. And uh, I've seen some pictures on the web that there are swans that come here as well. But I haven't seen anything. It's a very sort of... A little bit of traffic noise I can hear. But it seems to be hot. That's it, the path going on. I don't know how long I've walked now. So that gives you a rough idea since I've panned around the type of environment you have here coming back round to the path and that's we have it, that's 360 Now we have reached Rasti 5 Talko Rasti which means it's a place for resting so that's how far we've come now. And they're talking about uh, just taking time out to smell the air, uh, listen to the birds that are singing. There's one crack crack over there, sounds like a bullfrog. But uh, I read that there's uh, in Japan, they've invested 60 million yen, or is it dollars, I don't know, in forest paths, uh, and it's called forest bathing, and the Japanese term for it is Shinrin Yoko, and they believe that uh, it benefits your health to get out into nature and away from the electricity of computers and stuff like that and they were saying that they measured blood pressure before you go into the forest and then blood pressure after you come out of the forest and apparently, oh, there's a dragonfly it's hovering there. Apparently, your blood pressure just drops after being in the forest. And I think Finland are investing more in paths like this uh, so that people can get out and walk. The other thing that the Japanese found was that there are some fantastic birds in the sky now. I think that must be some sort of hawk or something. Look at it just soaring around there. I wish I could get it. Ah, they're blood. Okay. A little distraction. Yeah, they are over there. Anyway, yeah, health benefits from getting out and uh, walking, exercising. But there are lots of people, I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> they've never been out in the forest. 
they don't know how to walk on uneven, uneven surfaces. Uh, and this is supposed to do good for your joints, your knee and your back, uh, to be able to sort of move over terrain that's uh, undulating. Ah, oh, here's another one of these crazy bonsai trees. Let's take a look at it. Appreciating the the beauty of nature and the shapes that uh, that you can find in nature and the way that the weather sculpts different trees. Look at that one there. There's that hawk. Oh, look at it up there. Have I got it? I don't think I have. It's going away. Just flying in there. There's another one. Look. Are they buzzards? Just I can't get it with this stupid camera. There it is again. Just hovering there. It's going away though. What was I saying? Yeah. There we go. Back to this little tree. And look at the shape of it how it's got into that shape. I bet you some Japanese person would pay a fortune to have that in their house. But the weather has just done strange and wonderful things to it. And here we have a rusty number four and it's about the different uh, height levels in the swamp. And there's something called here Kermi Kedis. And it's these are the bumps that you see in the swamp that's risen above the swamp level and different types of uh, vegetation grow on it. You can see out there there are small sort of bumps here and there. But uh, Nothing to write home about. There's an interesting tree. Blue sky. Little cloud. Lovely. So they say the distance of this path, which they've put across this marsh, is 1.9, almost 2 kilometres. I think I started looking at those stop-off points when I started I think it was six and five and now at four so still have what three more to go and some sounds like some monoplane flying over there but they say that in the springtime, look at this, how swampy it is, different types of moss growing there. So, there you can see those are the mounds we were talking about, Kermaketis, where it, like cream, it rises out of the swamp little bumps and different types of vegetation then grow on top of the, the bumps. But let's continue. But, uh, I wonder if my blood pressure has gone down. I'm feeling good. The sun is nice. 
there's the next Rasty, which will be number three along there. I'll switch this off and then when we get there we'll read it. Stop off point number three. People and swamps. Well, I remember reading in the Calava that the uh, Vineman and he has a singing competition. Some young man, I think it's for the hand or I know. And uh, Vineman sings him into the swamp. So when somebody is just so good with their words and says something so that you, you can't defend yourself, then you're being sung into a swamp. Uh, and they're talking here about what has been happening. And at one time they used to sort of dig, uh, come and take peat out of the swamp, but it's not allowed anymore. So, there we have it. So, I think it might be about 200 metres. We're coming back into sort of forest, out of the swampy area. And there's lots of these. What do you call it? Swapursu. Myrtle. In there. And uh, also, I think, perhaps some heather. And perhaps there, uh, even some blueberries. I haven't seen any. Walker, Lingonberry, but we're definitely coming out of the swamp area and going back into forest area and that looks like that's the beginning down there with the number one rasty. I couldn't take stop off point number two because <laughs> A couple sitting down there having a picnic, just enjoying the sun. But here we come. It's been a good walk. It's just a wonderful day, balmy sunshine. And there we have it. Point number one. I suppose I should have come in from the other side. Isovar Purame. Rasty number one. And that's at Suopursu. It's a rhododendron. <laughs> Well, that's it there. It, uh, I think it's called myrtle in English. And Rahaiskoivo is some runt, bet, betulanana, some very small uh, birch in there. So, Isovar Pur Rami. I don't know what that is. I have to look it up when I get home. There we are. It must go on a little bit more to some parking place. I'll walk on. See what we have. If there's a place to come and cook something. That's it. The end of the trail or the beginning of the trail. So now I've got to walk back the way, so that's another two kilometres, so it's five kilometres I've done today. And these are some of the things that you can get. That's uh, Yoloka, uh, Suokoka, Swamp Flowers, I think that's some sort of cotton type thing 
Isokar Palo. They make juice out of that. Rakasara. Looks like some sort of grains. Levico. Uria. Le. Ti. Hi. Hoki. No idea what that is. Calm down there. Uh, protect yourself against the wild animals. <laughs> Just imagine that coming down and getting you its beak. And if you have a dog, then keep your dog on a leash. There we are. I haven't seen that. Pata Kuiva. Kuiva Tu. So we are. So, so there's some sort of dam there. <laughs> Don't know where it is. Obviously, they made a dam. So that's it. That's the end of the journey. I hope you have enjoyed it, my friends. And we're there. Oletessa, you are here. That's the route that we came along. There's a hill over there. That's where we've got to go back to to get the car. So here I am sitting on that special bench that someone made. Oh, I'm thinking about this Shinrin Yoko. And you're just supposed to sit down, which I'm doing now, and uh, try and uh, engage your senses. Listen. There's some traffic. Must be the motorway. I can also hear some bugs. Feel, I suppose, touch. I'm just feeling this bench against my back. It's uh, <laughs> it's quite comfortable. But, uh, smell. Well, there's some swampy smell. Not unpleasant, but nevertheless there. And if I could find some berries, then I would taste them. There's one of those crazy birds getting over there again. So, that's it. I don't know what the five senses are. You hear, see, look, yeah, look around. Clouds, blue skies. Very bright, very nice. Seeing, smelling, touching, tasting. See, smell, touch, taste. Hear, listening. Little bugs warbling. Sun's over there. So that's it. I could sit here for some time and be quiet and just listen. Anyway, my friends, that's the end of the video. Take care of yourselves.